Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back doing another 8-4 Oath of the Gatewatch Battle for Zendikar Draft. We've opened Remorseless Punishment probably, ah, maybe even over 100 times I've seen this card now in like 50 drafts. Um, possibly. It is passed often though, so I guess that's not that impressive of a stat. But I have opened Remorseless Punishment a lot. Probably just going to take Seed Guardian. Seems like the best card. It is good. Not as good as people had hoped it originally would be, but it is a good card. And I think it's certainly worthy of a first pick, so I'm okay with that. All right, follow-up pick. In green, we have Birthing Hulk. I don't even think I've played it yet in this format, and I think it's an okay card. Best card in the pack. Maybe Reality Hemorrhage. Envoy's very good, too. I don't think it's a Birthing Hulk here. I, I just... I'm going to be able to find... I usually don't have a hard time finding expensive spells. Kind of just want to take the Hemorrhage. I think we're going to do that. I like Seagate Wreckage. It's pretty good. Um, but I like Lagak a lot. Lagak might just be the best card in this pack. Probably is. All right. Another Birthing Hulk. All right. There's a lead by example, which is only okay. Sweep away, Wandering, Fumarole, Cinder Hellion. All these cards are kind of mediocre. I could just take the lead by example, which I've come to like a little bit more. Or I could take the Birthing Hulk now. I still kind of am just not amazed by it. Could take the Unknown Shores. I'm not passing up much for it. I'm really not. And I like Unknown Shores because it just gets a colorless mana source out of the way. In case I need it. Yeah, you know, I could end up with like Stalking Drones or something. Or Maw of Kozilek, you never know. I think that I'm actually kind of happy with that pick, I think. Just not giving up anything I care about. Hmm, this is kind of a weak pack, too. Could take the Tranquil Expanse in case there's white cards I want. Once again, I'm not passing. Anything I care about. Canopy Gorger is pretty underwhelming in terms of top end. Scythemaster is whatever. Same with Aggressor. Same with Hellion. Same with Tar Snare. There's nothing in this pack. I'm going to take the Expanse. Okay. Could take the Spider to stay with the green. Shrieker's pretty good. I like Shrieker more than I like Spider. I think I'm just going to take the Shrieker. What is it, a sixth pick? It's not necessarily a sign, but Shrieker is good. Just really enjoyed this card in the format. It's really been... It plays just so much better than it looks. All right. Now I might take the Slaughter Drone. Over the Shrieker number two and be okay with that. Just get a cheap spell. I like Slaughter Drone. I like Shrieker. I probably like them pretty close to equally. Shrieker's higher impact, but Slaughter Drone does a lot for a little mana, which I like. Pretty late spawn binder, but got to be pretty dedicated allies to make it pay off. And Warden of Geometries is whatever. So, all right, we'll take the Slaughter Drone. Okay, so there's a Timber Gorge, Oath of Gideon, Sky Climber, Crumbling Vestige. It's a pretty late Sky Climber. 
We have a Tranquil Expanse. I still like the black cards I have more. I'm going to take the Vestige. All right, I'm going to take a second Slaughter Drone here. Pretty happily, actually. Like I said, I think the card's actually pretty good. Corpse Churn, you know, might be okay. If I end up with a Bailoth Null, I'll be happy I have it. I don't care about Warping Wheel. It's a sideboard card at best. And nothing else matters. We'll take the Corpse Churn. I've, I've finally gotten around to playing it once, and I thought it was fine. Chitinous Cloak's actually pretty good with Slaughter Drone. Making him double block it and then giving a Death Touch is pretty nice. Um, other than that, not so good. I guess it's a little bit redundant on a Shrieker. It's pretty clunky most of the time. I think I'm actually going to take the Warden here. I'll take the Ramp. I'm unimpressed with both those cards, but more likely I'd end up playing a Warden, I think. Uh, Walker of the Wastes. Okay, I don't have any waste though. That was a weird pack. I, I feel like we didn't see anything very powerful at all, did we? If we did see something powerful, someone can point it out, but I don't think that we did. Anyway, well, second to last pick, Flank Tendrils, is a good sign for black, since this card is very main deckable. Admittedly, it's not looking great in our deck since it kills most of our creatures, but it's a, it's a good card. Another Wandering Fumarole. Uh, let's see here. So, might just take a second Lagak. Hope to wield a Shrieker. There's an Immolating Glare in here. I am Removal Light at the moment. We did see white out of pack one. Doesn't necessarily mean... And we don't have a good start for a black-white ally deck. If we were going to play black-white, it would be a weird... It would be a weird black-white deck. I like the green cards we have. I think we were getting cut out of pack one. That doesn't necessarily mean we're getting cut from this direction, though. And Lagak is a good card. I like it more than the second Shrieker, I think. And I think I like it more than Path Warden, too. I'm pretty sure I do. We're going to be... A, we, we'd have to be a pretty creature-heavy deck, though, for Lagak to pay some dividends. But I'm going to take the Lagak here. I think Immolating Glare is the strongest card, but... Ooh, well, pass some black goodies here. Grasp versus Oblivion Strike. It's a legitimate question. It's also a hissing quagmire in here, which this pack has everything we want, as as it usually is. So Grasp versus Oblivion Strike. Oblivion Strike is a catch-all. Grasp is cheaper, but more color intensive. Grasp is instant speed, so you can do it in response to a trick. They're both really good. I actually am I'm a little bit unsure which one I like more. Considering I have no removal, I might just want something that's straight up hard removal. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go Oblivion Strike. That That's really tough, though. I'm not exactly convinced myself that that's exactly how it should be uh well we have some good picks in here there's a hedron crawler but i think i'm looking at a third slaughter drone or a second shrieker now could we more likely to i don't know which one we're more likely to wheel i think we're guaranteed to wheel the reaver drone at the at worst so we're probably okay either way Usually cheaper's better. I think I'm going to go Slaughter Drone. See if we wield the Reaver Drone or the Shrieker. We can kind of go a suicidal black green. See if that pays off for us. Sign Summoner's good, especially since we already have double Lagak. All right, I, I think I'm starting to get to the point where I know what I want the deck to be. Well, there's some good cards in here. Probably don't want the walker away. So, Embodiment of Insight versus Path Warden. There's also a Lead by Example. And there's a Translator. All of these cards are good. Might want the Embodiment. It's 
pretty powerful, especially when you're trying to be suicidal. I think it's something we want. We're not really looking like a main deck flaying tendrils deck. Stalking drones a nice pickup for us. We'll get all the powerhouse two drops. All right, definitely feeling translator now. Seems like what we're looking for. Sky Scour is looking better now. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine currently. That's a pretty good count, and we're looking aggressive. I like Hedron Crawler too, but um, Sky Scour is also good with the Lag Axe. I'm going to take the Scour. All right, I can take a Path Warden. Looks like it's the only pick here for us. All right, got the Shrieker back, which is good news. Since it is good, Submerged Boneyard for a blue splash. Probably not happening, but I don't need any of these cards. Vines is actually fine. Second Path Warden. These are kind of nice late pickups for us. Still looking like a 17 land deck in my mind. I guess it depends on what our curve's looking like after pack uh, in pack three here. Still actually need some more colorless mana. Guldrez Overseer is pretty good, actually. Um, otherwise, Demon's Grasp. We are very removal light, but I kind of want the rare here. This, this card is going to be able to put people away, especially if we pick up some with some... If we pick up some more green token producers like Eyeless One or whatever, Call the Scions, I think Gouldraz Overseer could be right where we're looking for. It's also Beastmaster, but I think Overseer is better because it evades. There's a Plated Crusher in here too, which is good. Also an Archive, which does give us colorless mana, but I'm going to go with the Overseer here. All right, Carrier Thrall's good. There's Dominator Drone, though, which I think is more in line with what we want to do with the Suicide Black-Green plan, I think. I like it. Retreat's not bad. kind of lets you keep attacking. I guess I'm, there's nothing else here I really want. Could take the retreat. Probably okay with that. It's fine for us, not great. Nothing else here is very great, though. Nothing's worth splashing, either. Don't want a reclaiming vines. All right, we'll take the retreat. Might want the demon's grasp. There is swarm surge, but... And there's Nissa's renewal, I guess. Probably want the Grasp. It's another 5-drop, though. Swarm Surge is actually pretty good in here. We have maybe enough creatures where we want to just put a bunch of creatures out and go for that plan. Let's cut the Corpse Churn. Um, I mean, we do have enough 5-drops. I guess we could take Swarm Surge. Jeez, it's a powerful card. Might just want the Blighted Step. Another Colorless Mana Source. I think I want a third one. I want to make sure we have enough. Swell of Growth is actually playable in here. I don't like the card very much, but I wouldn't mind a combat trick since we're so removal light. Bone Splinters is okay with like Summoner, but I don't think we have enough ammo for that. I guess it's okay with Seed Guarding too, but not great. It's actually okay with Embodiments, if you don't mind ditching a land. Um... But yeah, let's take the Blighted Step as just a basic colorless mana source. It's our third one. Plummet's a good sideboard card. I think we're going to have enough cards for the deck after we see what we wheel, so I'm not going to take an Alter's Reap. I'd rather have a Plummet for sideboard. I think it's important. 
Myers Malice is really good. I'm trying to be beat down, but I guess infuse the elements technically makes submerged boneyard and tranquil expanse. Could be a powerful finisher. This deck doesn't love Myers Mouse, but Myers Mouse is definitely a significantly better card than. I think it's a significantly better card than Infuse. Infuse does give it a permanent buff, though. I I would prefer to not run the tap lands in this deck. Even so, we could still get mana off Crumbling Vestige and Unknown Shores technically for it, but I think I'm just going to play the Myers Mouse. It's just such a good card. I've really come to appreciate and love Myers Mouse. To Drew Stowart's not actually looking bad in here either. There is a Rune Processor. We have a... I guess just a Translator and a Warden. I'd like to upgrade the Warden. I can take the Tajuru Stalwart. I still can... I think most of the time it's going to end up being a 3-mana 2-3, though. I have Vestige and Unknown Shores, though, which can help push it to that next level. I guess I take the Processor, then. We're looking less Suicide now. There's a Plated Crusher. I think now I want the Demon's Grasp. Beastmaster's pretty good, too, but we don't have enough allies. I'm just going to take the removal. I'm going to take the Thrill over the Plummet, I think. We already have one Plummet. I think maybe we ditch out on Retreat now. Probably don't need double path warden, probably. I kind of want to keep the processor, although do we have any ways to ingest? Maybe processor is not happening if I actually have no way to... Uh... No, I have Oblivion Strike. Um, I'm not going to play Voracious Null. I guess I'll take Reclaiming Vines. Not super likely I'll sideboard into it, though. All right. Now we got the Swell of Growth back. And I did say I would, thought it was fine in this deck, but I don't think I have the space for it now. Um, I might just ditch Rune Processor plans. Probably too expensive. Let's see if I can bring this deck down to 17 lands. I think I probably can. Probably just ditch the Warden. It's fine. It's not great, though. I'd rather run Translator. And I actually kind of like the combat tricks in this deck. Like, I don't think Swell of Growth's a great card. I don't think Vines of the Recluse is a... Well, Vines of the Recluse is better than Swell of Growth. But considering how low on tricks we are, I think combat tricks are actually going to be pretty important for us. All said, th this deck looks fine. I, I don't have any major gripes with this deck. We're removal light, but at least we have a couple combat tricks to supplement. We have death touch capability. We got just enough colorless mana where I think we can activate our slaughter drones and stalking drone and shriekers enough, I'm hoping. Our curve's not awful. We've got some decent top end. Yeah, I think this deck's fine. I'm not going to rate it super high, but I think this deck is adequate. Serviceable, if you will. All right. So, Blighted Step as like a Waste, Vestige, and Unknown Shores. Both of these count as half a land, so we want to err towards or skew towards black. If I do this... A missing one. So, wait, that's not right. 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So this is 8 and 8. Probably like that. All right. I guess most of our early plays are black, though. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe I do cut one more green. Looking at it again. Let's cut one more green for another black, I think. I think I like this a little bit more. 
we just have a lot of black early and we really do want to apply pressure as quickly as possible. So as for rating of this deck, uh, I'm not going to rate it super high. I think it's actually high D range. I think its game plan is executable. I don't think the mana base is awful, but it's not super impressive. I think, like I said, we have enough colorless mana sources to pretty reliably, adequ adequately, you know, activate our Slaughter Drone, Stalking Drone, Shrieker plan, I'm hoping. Uh, as far as, like, end game, yeah, I mean, we've got a little bit. Could use some more removal. We've got a couple combat tricks that I'm a little bit less impressed with, but sort of necessary evils for this deck, I think. I think high D is fine, though. Retreat is something I still can consider, since it does pump and give death touch, which is good with the menace. Could run it over Swell of Growth, I guess, but I kind of like having the combat tricks in a deck like this. I think making them block and then playing a cheap trick to just get get out of a combat situation in a good way, I think is, is kind of what this deck needs. So yeah, I'm going to give it a high D, probably like a 67%. Uh, I've certainly had better, but we'll we'll see how it runs. We'll run it like this. We'll see around one.